Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR and my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a quick overview of using WF View with Log for the Old Man. And I've got a post on my website, www.k0pir.us. Head over there and have a look at it. I've got some screen captures there. And hey, if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell if you want to be notified when I put out a new video. Okay, I've got my uh, Windows 11 laptop open and I just want to show you Device Manager. This prolific cable, that's the CIV cable. And then this COM5, the Silicon Lab CP210X, that is the USB cable connected to my ICOM radio. And what I'm going to do is split this COM5 and make it COM1 so I can use COM1 for WF view and for CW keying in FL Digi. So later on when we get to FL Digi I'll show you how to set up CW Transmit uh, in that program. But uh, the uh, prolific cable, the CIV, that plugs into the remote port of your the back of your ICOM radio and this USB cable plugs into the USB port on the back of your ICOM radio. So the first thing I do is get in and open up VSPE and again I've got these screen captures on my website. Real important part. Uh, a couple of screen captures that I have are really important so head over, over there and have a look. After I open up Virtual Serial Ports Emulator I go down and open up WF View and this is very similar to how I was using it with AC Log. Let's go over to settings and have a look at it under radio access I've got the serial and then the, I put in the CIV address for my ICOM 7300 and I'm using COM1 because that's the COM port that is is uh, created when I split COM5 and uh, the external control uh, I've got enabled rig control the uh, CTLD and the port's 4532 and that's important when we start uh, opening up other programs like WSJTX and FL Digi so if you want to have rig control with those programs you'll want to enable this I'm going to go over to view and let's see there's a sideband signal right here well yeah let's see Let me turn up the audio. Sounds like it might be a parks on the air. Okay, I'll turn down the audio there. Now I've got WF view working and that's a real nice uh, ICOM uh, rig control interface and then I'm going to go over and open up log for the old man if you use AC log I've got uh, some posts on my website uh, regarding AC log and using it with WF view but for log for the old man you can see the uh, the frequency doesn't come up I'm on 14311 so let me go in here and go under cat and I'm going to stop cat and I'll set it up. I'll go under settings and then program configuration. And once that comes up I go down to under hardware configuration the cat interface. Select it. And we're going to use ham lib or ham libraries, ham lib and under the settings tab you want to select ham live and the cat auto start I think all of this is the default settings and then I'm going to go over to ham live and we're going to use the TCP connection select it and this is the address the local address of the computer in 4532 just like we had set up in WF view when we're over here for the external control 
uh, rig control uh, 4532. So we've got that selected. I can click on Save and Apply. You don't have to mess with anything over here. Just click Save and Apply. Go back over to... Uh, well, it connected it automatically. The, the Auto Start must have connected it automatically. So now I've got the correct frequency in there. And I, I love uh, Log for the Old Man. It's a great program. There's a lot of stuff to it. And this is a free program along with WFVU. I'll have more information on my website coming. And uh, in the next week or two, I'll have some more videos of using WFVU with Log for the Old Man, WSJTX Grid Tracker, and of course, FL Digi. So that about does it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't already, look at that uh, t-shirt shop below. It's uh, Ham Tees by K0PIR. Head on over there and pick up a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or even a coffee mug. Thanks again. 73 and good DX.